Day four update. What have you been doing? Making the fuse box. We're almost done. Almost done with the fuse box. So this yeah. is all the relays, all the fuses of everything, engine harness. Yep. So fuel pump, ignition, injectors, uh, O2, and then the main one. For and this is a, I think it was an Amazon purchase, True Mods or something yeah, like that? Yeah, um, the box is elsewhere. But it's a sealed, completely sealed kit. It comes with relays and fuses and all the terminals and seals. It even like has silicone backing that you punch the wires through. Mm -hmm. so, so it's a nice waterproof. Um, Fuse box. We're going rallying. Yeah. <laughs> Engine bay still looks like an absolute nightmare, but we promise that's progress. The coils have been mounted besides their hardware, but that is where they're going to live. My next task is to find all of the right spark plug wires to go to those. I'm going to try to reuse the spark plug wires that we had with a distributor because they're nice and I'm cheap. And we also ran the wire for the fuel pump because we are not going to use the car's circuit because it was scary. We also removed this. This was the pop-off valve, which is kind of a predecessor to a blow-off valve in that if the engine ever got over like 8 PSI, this would vent the air from the intake. So not before the throttle body, after the throttle body. So not necessarily a blow-off valve, more of a please don't grenade the engine valve. We're not going to use that because we have more modern fueling control. Right? Yeah! Right? So one of the big holdups was, will our existing spark plug wires work and reach to the exact opposite place of the cone distributor? The uh, answer is kind of no. So all but three were fine. You can see they're a little tight coming across here, but we can do better routing to fix that. The problem is with the distributor here and the sparks or the spark plugs for the exhaust side there, they're tiny. Like we're just left with a couple tiny wires. And one of them needs to go from this side of the coil all the way down there to cylinder number three. So for the time being, what we're going to end up doing is using this spark tester as a extension to get down to the plug wire and say that we're doing that for diagnostic purposes. But at the end of the day, we're going to have to buy more wires, more boots. 